All right, I'll be showing you guys a way to get a uh, GPS or a mile per hour signal into these Festivas. Um, considering this is pretty much for anybody that has an aftermarket computer in these, whether you're running like a micro squirt, mega squirt, um, hall tech, uh, fuel tech. I'm running a fuel tech in this. And the fact that we know that these cars don't have any tone rings on the axles, on the front or the back hubs. Um, and because there's no tone rings, we can't hook up like a speed sensor to them uh, so that the computer knows how fast the car is traveling. Uh, what this is going to do for us actually is give us an, uh, a new way to activate or not activate exactly but do our boost our duty cycle for our boost because uh, right now we just have basically we can use like a basic um, duty cycle table and that one kind of, it just goes off rpm but if you want to be able to control your boost a little better and have it ramp you know be low at the off the line and then ramp it in at higher speeds you need to have something that basically is telling you what speed your car is traveling at to do this, what we're going to be hooking up today is this little kit here from Glowshift. Now, Glowshift makes this. Now, Haltech also sells something very, very similar to this. However, the Haltech kit is around $120 or $130 for the kit to where this Glowshift kit is actually it was only $89. Uh, so a little bit of cost savings and it really does the same thing. I mean the kind of GPS is GPS So what we have is we have our uh, sensor here our GPS um, Signal or antenna basically then we have the actual module here itself And it's a very very easy setup. It's literally it's three wires We have a power a ground and then we have the signal which is the green and the green, this is how what's going to happen is right here, if this will focus. You see the pulses? So what we're going to do is we're going to hook all this up, go into the computer, we're going to set it up, and it's going to think it has a tone ring on the axles by the pulses. But instead, how it's going to act is actually it's going to pulse like that, but it's not actually a mechanically driven type of thing. So... I've done some research. I found some settings I'm going to try first. Hopefully they should work. Um, a lot of people have actually been using this um, and with good success. And if I can get this to work on this setup, really in theory, any of the other aftermarket computers should be able to replicate this the same. Whether it's in FuelTech or Tuner Studios, if you're using like the Mega Squirt, Micro Squirt aspect of things. All you need is what's considered a digital in wire to your computer, which most of them have. Um, that's what your norm, almost most of your normal sensors will use, whether that's, uh, you know, most of them are like a digital slash analog, and that it should use that one. So uh, I got to do some more research exactly which pins like a micro squirt. A mega squirt's kind of one of those other things, whether you get a... DIY PNP kit, you know, do it yourself one, or if you buy one that's already been pre done, those input outputs are going to be different per, per computer basically. But this wiring should be very easy. Like I said, three wires should be pretty easy. My fuse panel in the car is pretty easy to get to, so it should only take a few minutes. Hook that up, hook this. I'm just, I'm not going to permanently mount this yet. I'm just going to kind of throw it up on the dash just to get signal, make sure that's working. And then we're going to take this thing around the block and see if I'm getting a mile per hour signal. If so, we will be in business. So, as you can see, got the wheel speed sensors to work. And you can see my other speedometer. It's pretty freaking close. I mean, close enough to where a mile an hour or so, that's, that's close. So I've kind of got it strung up over here, just loosely, just trying to uh, get it, uh, just to make sure everything's working. But it uh, seems to be working. 
So, yeah. Don't mind the car is running like crap. Because I got new injectors in this thing. So, it's needing some extra tuning. Because, well, you guys see, uh, know that the, one of my injectors were shot. But, it's working. Alright, so as you guys can see that it worked. Uh, worked perfectly. Um, I think it's pretty accurate. It's, I mean, from looking left to right as fast as you can, seems like it's within a mile per hour, which is close enough. Uh, there's a lot of vehicles out there that are worse than that. Their speedometers are off. But, uh, so just to go over with, um, with it for you, the, uh, the settings that you're going to want to use in your aftermarket computer, whatever it is, uh, most of them, you know, you have the wheel speed sensors and you have to put in like what kind of tone ring, how many, uh, how many notches are on it and everything. And then, so what you're going to do is you're going to do, it's going to be 10, you're going to do 10 teeth. Then you're going to put it onto like, if it, you have the tire size, um, you can put it in there. You want to put it to a 25 inch tire because how these modules work is they work off of a 5,000 pulse, uh, system, which is pretty much about most GP aftermarket GPS, uh, systems. They work on a 5,000 pulse system. So with the 10 teeth on your tone ring, 25 inch tire, Basically, it makes the computer's math work somehow. I, I don't know exactly how this. I found this on the internet. Somebody else that has done this and helped other people's out. It just mathematically works correctly for a 5,000 pulse uh, GPS. So as you can see, though, it worked. So there, you know, that's however it does it in the background and calculates it. That's cool. And but it's it's right there. It is within a mile per hour. So this right there is a big game changer, and now we're going to be able to do boost by speed and r settle this thing down off the line and really start ramping in the boost on the top end. Um, but, yep, yeah, just want to share this with you guys real quick and uh, let you know how to do it.